now coming to the trick part so sometimes it is very difficult for us we usually forget which one is for oxygen and which one is for nitrogen so here i am giving you a wonderful trick so that you can easily memorize it what i told you earlier up to nitrogen we are following pi then sigma for bonding molecular orbitals and for oxygen and fluorine we are following sigma then pi for bonding molecular orbital so just to memorize this i am giving you a simple trick so that you will understand it or memorize it so here i am again showing that in case of nitrogen or up to nitrogen we are following this ps ps sequence and after that nitrogen we are following this sp ps sequence so just to memorize this suppose we are having a person like you and me so if problems come so this p stands for the upper part here p or pi and this s right s stands for sigma p stands for pi if electrons in a molecule are less than equal to 14 as in case of nitrogen so nitrogen is having seven electrons 7 plus 7 14 electron maximum whereas oxygen is having eight electrons 8 plus 8 16 electrons so if we are having electrons less than equal to 14 then he says no problem so so problem is abbreviated as ps so we are having no problems so ps and we are talking about the problems initially so this is the order which it follows and after nitrogen if the problem is big then he take a deep breath means he says oxygen is very special to me to cope up with this big problem so sp is stands for special and this is the problem and this here i have also explicitly written that electrons are less than equal to 14 electrons are more than 14 oxygen is very special to cope up with the bigger problems and bigger stands for more here more number of electrons and uh, when the numbers are less than the 14 or equal to 14 then this object who is mentally strong it says there is no problems and this no signifies that up to nitrogen i hope you will find it interesting